Who is this? Turtle. It's Turtle. Good. Oh, good evening, little friends. Okay. You say hi, friends. Okay. Hi, friends. Good evening. Good night. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great day today at homeschool, I guess, and my parents at work. So today, or tonight, we are going to read a book, Stand Tall. It's by our good friend, Mr. Frank Nardelli. Say hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Frank is also the elementary school principal over at Summit Academy North. So you can check him out and get his book at Amazon. You can get his book anywhere, everywhere, actually. So we're going to read Stand Tall. Stand Tall is a really important book during this time because it's a, it's a book about for children growing up with a sick parent. Want to get your juice? Oh, no, your juice. Yeah, we'll get your juice. So um, this this book is important during this because we know it's a lot of kids who are going who are dealing with you know parents who are feeling ill, feel, parents who aren't feeling their hundred percent at their best. So this book we hope is going to help a little bit in aiding some of that and helping our parents understand or helping our kids understand what's going on with their parents. Okay, okay, Gap. Oh. Okay. And it's really our bedtime in real life right now, as you can see. Stand tall. Stand tall. Stand tall. I need you. You can't leave. Get up. Open your eyes, Pop. I need you. I love you, Pop. Please stay here with me. That's all I could think about when I was sitting with my dad in the hospital room. My mom went home for a while to change her clothes and call her sister. I wanted to stay with my dad. He was sleeping again, so I talked to myself again. I do that too. When my mom sleeps during the day and I'm home from school with her, I talk to myself. I ask her a lot of questions. She never answers me, but I wish she would. I ask her if she's hurting. I ask her if she can help her. I want to, but I don't know how. You ever feel like you don't know how to help your friends or you help your mommy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel so lucky when you two talk about your parents sleeping all the time. My mommy is about is awake and she talks to me, but sometimes she cries. Hold on, Dad. Hold on, don't tear this book. Sometimes she cries and tells me that her head hurts. Oh, you see the mommy, her head hurts. Sometimes she asks me to go play with my brothers or to watch some TV with them so she can rest her head for a while and feel better. No, you make mommy feel better. You kiss and make it better. You're so sweet. We'll kiss it better. Yeah. We'll kiss it better. You kiss it better. Why is this happening to us? What did we do wrong? I see my friends at school and their moms and dads are okay. They are not sick. I see their moms and dads picking them up from school. I see them walking down the sidewalk holding hands. I want to hold hands with my daddy. I want my daddy to pick me up from school, too. I get mad sometimes. Sometimes I get really mad at my mama for getting sick. Sometimes I get really mad because I want macaroni and cheese for dinner. And sometimes I get really mad, but she doesn't feel good. So we have to make Don't sandwiches again. I get so mad that she can't help me with my homework sometimes. I need your help. I want her to help me. Oh, you say, oh, it's okay. She needs help. I get mad too, but I think most of all, I'm just so scared. I'm scared that my mom will not get any better. I'm scared that my dad will get tired of making our lunches and getting us ready for school. I'm scared that we're going to be all alone. I'm going to have to take care of my sister. Oh, let me see the sandwiches. My life hurts so much, I can't even breathe. I can't go home. I can't look at him. He looks so sick. I can't see him like this. I can't do this. Oh, oh. What about you? Is it hard? I don't know. Are you okay? No. I mean, I don't know. Are you? I don't think I'm okay, but I guess I'm more okay now hearing how everyone else is feeling. It makes me feel like someone else is like me. Who cares? Just leave me alone. Aw, he's sad. You see the clouds on? 
It's so sad. Aww. He needs a hug. I need to go. I don't want to be away from my daddy too long. He needs me, and I help my mommy take care of him. I worry about him so much. When I'm not with him, I can't stop thinking about him. I can't. I want to help, and I want to help my mommy. So I need to go. Can I go? What's that? What is that? What's that? Yeah, there's a cloud over it. I know, cause it's cause he's sad. So it's raining on his head because he's sad. It's so sad. You make him feel better? I know. We try. We try. We try. I love my dad, and my dad loves me. My mom told look, me so. Look, look. What? You see it? My dad told me so. I know it's true, but if he loves me so much, how could he let this happen? Oh, look it. Aw. Happy tears. My dad shared good news today. My mom called them happy tears. He talked to his doctor again. His doctor said, my dad will feel better after a while. Look, look, oh, look, he's in the bed. You see the doctor? He said, my dad's sickness is in remission. Is he all better now? Where are you going? We're almost done. Yeah, you want to finish reading? Oh, you want to sit on that side and read? You want to sit on that side so you can see it? I know. Okay. Yeah. You see the bite? I want to play catch again with my papa. Why can't he play with me? I want to go for a bike ride again with my papa. Why can't he teach me how to ride my two-wheel bike? I want him to read me a story again before I go to sleep. Can you read me a story? I never... Oh, don't tear it. You gentle. There you go. Good girl. I never saw my dad cry before. Oh, no, look, he's crying. Why was he crying? Who was on the telephone that made him cry? What did they say? Did I do something wrong? Am I in trouble? I feel like crying, too. I can't. Can this happen to me? My granny is my hero. She is the strongest person I know. If she can get sick, if this can happen to her... How could this happen to her? Can this happen to me? When your mom or dad or the person who cares for you gets sick, you might have a lot of questions. I know. You might feel angry. You might feel sad. You might feel scared. You might want even be upset at your friends who have moms and dads who are not sick. Hold on. Know that what you are feeling is important and you are not alone. You turn the page. You are loved. It's okay to cry sometimes, but after you cry, you need to rise. Stand tall. You stand tall? Let me see you stand. Stand tall. Stand tall. Live your life in a way that will make you proud. Make Look, your family it, proud. It. What's that? Look. What is it? Look. What's that? Look. Tell me what is it? Look. Um, shovel? Yeah. It's a shovel. Shovel. Mm-hmm. What are they shoveling? Shoes. Yeah, they're you know, he's shoveling on his shoes. Yeah, he probably should shovel his shoes. You can talk to your family and friends. You can pray. You can write out your thoughts and feelings in a journal or in a letter to your loved one. You can smile. You're allowed. You can laugh. It's okay. Oh, that's fine. Share your feelings. Sometimes oh, what you shot. carry in your oh, mind shot. and in your heart oh, will be heavy. Oh, yeah, you got some. Eat your, open your snacks. Perfect. Ask for help when you need it. Your love, your hope, your strength are all gifts that you can share with your loved one who is sick. I know my mama loves me. Oh, I know my dad is trying to feel better, and I know he wants me to be happy. I know I can cry when I'm sad, and I can smile when I'm happy. I know this oh, is hard. Gosh. I know I can do this. Oh, I want to help, and sometimes I can. Oh, cut it out. There are no straws. Look, I am not alone. I am loved. I will stand tall. They stand tall. The end. Yay. I want to read a book. You want to read your book now? Okay, you want to read? 
All right. Look. Look. Okay, go ahead. Maybe I should like it. I want the straws. I want the straws. I want the straws. <laughs> that's how you do me. I want the straws. Yeah, that's how you do me. I want the straws. Go ahead. I want to see you read. Come here. You want to read? Stand over here. Now read so I can see. Okay, go for it. Okay, you can read your book. You read it your way, kiddo. I want to read the bubbles. Oh, that book. We're reading this one today. We'll read that book another day. So, you say the end? You say the end? Close up your book. Yay! Thank you for reading. You say good night, friends. Good night, Dad. All right, friends. We'll see you tomorrow at 830. Go get some sleep. Give your parents a rest. Give them a break. I'm sure they need it. They're working. They're homeschooling. Parents, I feel for you right now. I'm praying for you. That's why we're trying to do these bedtime stories. So we'll see you guys tomorrow night at 830. We got a bunch of new stories waiting on you guys. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, we're going to go get some veggie straws because that's the most important thing in life right now. Come here. Okay, we'll get some straws short. How do you ask? There you go. Let's do some manners here, okay? Okay. All right, cool. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here, get some straws, and actually go to bed because it's actually bedtime. We can't do So we'll see you guys tomorrow night. I love y'all. Say good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. We'll see you tomorrow. Sleep tight, my buddies. You keep reading. Oh, you, you, you hurt your belly. There you go. There you go. Good girl.